Um, did lose uh, did lose some saturation, some thickness there. Um, you know, it's to be expected when you drop the uh, the volume by about a quarter of its the total amount. Uh, but anyways, let's continue to about halfway on the uh, attenuator on the back of the amp and see where we're at volume wise. As you can tell, it's uh, not nearly as loud as it was, uh, so uh, there's plenty of volume in this beast, but, uh, you know, still got a killer sound, and uh, just for demonstration purposes, I will lower the volume on the front of the amp uh, all the way down, and raise the volume on the back attenuator all the way up, and slowly increase the volume on the front of the amp to where it was, and you can, I guess, judge for yourself. Uh, what sounds better, uh, unattenuated or attenuated, uh, but this is uh, volume on the amp uh, all the way down, a little attenuator knob on the back is all the way up, so here we go. And that's at a pretty low bedroom volume, uh, compared to the other, it's much, much sizzly, uh, uh, a lot more highs, um, not what I would consider fizzy, but definitely not nearly as smooth and thick. And you could hear the uh, tone smooth out considerably there once it, you know, started getting turned up a little bit. So it's about the uh, same volume there, uh, just then as it was uh, back when I had the volume knob on the back of the amp at about halfway, and the volume on the front of the amp uh, at nine o'clock. So I'll show you guys where the amp volume has ended up. So, as you can see, the uh, the little knob on the back, uh, though it's not a true attenuator, of course, uh, as the power tubes um, aren't getting pushed. Uh, really that much when it's being heavily uh, attenuated with this. Uh, it is getting a fatter, smoother sound from, I guess, the preamp tubes getting pushed harder. Uh, so anyways, I guess, um, you know, for seven or eight bucks and about five minutes worth of soldering, it's a pretty cool little mod that um, uh, definitely will save you a whole lot of money if you're considering uh, buying a volume pedal to do the, uh, do the same thing here. Uh, so anyways, um, check out the uh, Splon forums in the uh, Frequently Asked Questions area. You'll see a uh, 
uh, a couple of pictures on how I did this, uh, a little write up and some instructions and the parts that I used. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.